uh, yeah, how you guys doing? I'm gonna move this back a little because my head looks like a mountain lion, right? <laughs> Um, my name is Artist Nicole, and I own Artful Nights Maine, and good golly, Miss Molly, I've missed you guys. How can I see your comments? Let me see here. Hello, Nicole from Canada. Hello! How you doing up there? I don't know about you guys, but down here, it is hotter than a hot, hot plate. Jesus girl, let me tell you. I feel like it's hotter than a monkey's uncle. <laughs> Monkey's uncle's hot. <laughs> but anyways, yes, I hope everybody's having an amazing summer. I know I am. How do I see all my comments? Oh, there you are. Hi, guys. Let's see here. Who do I got? Anita Cushion from Vermont. Or Cushman Matthews. Hello, baby. Um, let's see who else. Oops, oh, I keep hitting the button wrong. Oh, I got a little scammer. Carol Landrum. Heather Bookin. How you doing, Pumpkin? Ruth Clinton from Puerto Rico. How are you, my love? Tammy Zen Slicker. Oh, Jesus, I lost ya. From Thunder Bay. Somebody's from the Thunder Down Under. <laughs> Because you know me and flowers, you know, like I touch them and they and they pretty much die. But anyways, I hope it is. All right, you guys. My rules are simple. I just Nicole. You guys are gonna eat. You're gonna drink at home. You are gonna have an absolutely fabulous time because there is no right. There is no wrong. Art is what makes your heart happy, soul brothers and sisters. Yeah, right? We're not going to be mean to ourselves. We're going to love our art no matter what, huh? Yes, we are. Oh. All right, are you guys ready? I know I am because it's looping time. Looping time, looping time. Oh, looping time. That's right. Okay. So I took the liberty, you guys, of pouring your paint already. All right? Now, this is the deal, okay? It's so hot up here, my paint goes <clears throat> But anyways, that's all right. I always tell the children, if your paint touches, you got the lucky paint, right? <laughs> so the first color I have, all right, that is my, one of my favorite greens. I call it like the Kermit the Frog green, or the M&M green, or the horny toad green, okay? And if you don't have a horny toad green, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your regular green, which is like this color, right? Your little grass color, and you're gonna mix it with a little bit of yellow. And other than that, right, you mix them together, and look at that, you get a horny toad green, everybody. That's right, okay? And we've got white, Nikki White Fight Fight. You've got yellow, but this is not a regular yellow, okay? What I did with this yellow, it's a very pale yellow. Because what I did with it was, uh, is your internet bad? Uh-oh, what's going on here? Hello from Montana, hello! Hello from Vermont, Canada, Timmy Zenlicka! How you do? Heather Booking. All right, what's my internet saying? Hello, my special friend. Hi, Cindy Bailey. How you doing, my sweet bug? Deborah Williams. Lots of scammies. How you doing, scammies? Thunder down under. Susan Douglas. All right. Oh, oh, goodness gracious, you're coming at me. I can't tell. Is my internet bad? I don't think so. Brittany Black. Is that Brittany Black? Hi! Oh my goodness! Hello, Lincoln! How you doing? That's my nephew. He's up in Bangor. Okay? So, again, white, black, your favorite commercial purple, okay? And if you guys do not like 
the commercial purple that you have. Because oftentimes commercial purples are kind of like... <sighs> so what you can do is you can take blue and red. You guys can mix them together to get the most fabulous purple you can find. More blue, it's going to be more violet. More red, it's going to be more like a magenta purple or red. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, mix your favorite purple, okay? For this yellow, what I'm going to have you guys do is take a little yellow and white, and you're going to mix those together. And that's it. Who's ready? I know I am. Yes, yes. So for all you guys that were wondering how it was going with Squirrel Wars, because this year I fell in love with the birds. Let me tell you what. I learned one thing. Those squirrels can get through anything. You can put the slinky up. You can put the Vaseline. I even sprayed cooking oil on my damn. And you know what they did? They went. Huh. <laughs> so every morning I've grown to love and accept them. They are my new squirrel friends. Okay, so every morning when I get up and I'm drinking my coffee, my little squirrels are like, hi, Nikki, how you do? Thank you for my breakfast. And I'm like, okay, squirrels, we're at an impasse. <laughs> and that's what I do. But anyways, okay, so first thing that we are going to do with this beautiful looping picture, all right, everybody's going to pick up their big boy. And in honor of my new squirrel friends, I'm going to call them, was it Rocky? Rocky and Bullwinkle. Rocky was a squirrel with the little thing, and thing on his head, right? The ones that look at me in the morning and have those things on their heads. Yeah, they do. So here we go. Thank you, Rocky. All right? And what we're going to do with Rocky is we are going to paint this entire background. Okay? Now. What I'm using for this is I'm using that yellow that I tinted with white, but what I'm going to do with that yellow that I tinted down with white. So take your yellow, squirt a little white in it and go, brrrr, okay? And then what you're going to do is you are going to take some of your horny toad green, flying squirrels, I hear you, baby. Thank God we don't have sugar bushes up here in Maine, or maybe we do. I don't know. I think my squirrels are sugar bushes. They look like it. Jeez, I'm crow. But I'm going to take some of this tinted, this, uh, uh, what do you call it, right? My M&M green, my beautiful, like, yummy green. And I'm going to add that to my yellow. All right, my yellow and white. Look at that. Ooh, see, I'm just giving it a little flavor, flavor. Okay? It's going to get a little, mm, give a little something, something for the back of them lupine. All right. Then I'm going to load up Rocky. Hello, honey. How you doing? Oh, my gosh, you guys. You're just like turning my crank. Gosh, I've missed you. All right? And what we're going to do is we are going to stroke this bad boy. Look at that. Stroking it. Stroking her up and down. Giving her the paint. Isn't that a pretty background? Oh, my goodness. I love that color. Right? See, that's what I like. So, basically, for this background, what you guys are doing is you are taking a little bit of yellow and white. You're toning down that yellow and white, okay? That yellow with some white. And then you're going to add some of that M&M green. And what you're going to end up with is this beautiful color. Oh, my gosh, I love this. Isn't that pretty? Oh, she turned him a crank. She turned it. <laughs> what is that line on top? I have no idea. I was getting overzealous. All right, so here we go. Stroke her up, stroke her down, everybody. Give her the strokes. All right, and you're going to paint this entire background just like this. Okay? Look at that. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, my gosh, what am I going to do with myself? I love this color. Isn't this pretty? I know. It's a perfect setting for those little loop eyes. Right? I don't know. Maybe lupin season is in the beginning of the summer. I don't know. I don't care. 
we'll do it when we want. <laughs> That's pretty much how I do everything. Hello, Cormel Shorka. You little, uh, okay. You love the color. Me too. Why are these comments not coming up so I can see? Joe Hill, how you doing, baby? That's right, Judy Ward. Me too, hard to watch. What's going on, you guys? Keep getting the live video interruptions. Is your internet bad? Constantly cuts out. I don't know, sweet bug. I think, um, I think, I don't know if these little scammers are doing something, but I hope not. Jeez and crow. Well, I don't know, you guys. I'm just going to keep on going and hope for the best. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness gracious. So this part, I added a little bit more green to it. Looks like I was running low. So all I'm going to do is, who cares? I'm just going to work it right in. Look at that. Ooga booga, everybody. Ooga booga. Okay, look at that. Oh, she's gorgeous. All right, I'm here, but I have been losing. Oh, look at you guys. God, I miss you. You're going in and out. I don't know why that is, honey. I'm not sure if it's because the scammers are getting a little bit more advanced. I hope not. But um, you know what? If you guys don't get this the first time, this is a beautiful pot, right? Sit back and enjoy the ride because what I'm gonna do immediately following this and you know I paint fast so what I'm gonna I so I missed you honey <laughs> in mid-June okay yeah you know but um yeah sit back enjoy the ride after this is over immediately it's gonna be downloaded to my Facebook page and then I'm going to put it on the YouTube channel. So just sit back, have a good time. You know, I get a little hyperactive. Mm -hmm. I paint a little fast, so don't you even worry about that. And if the internet's cutting out, it's going to be just fine when we're all done. Okay? Now, a painting is never finished until you paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. But guess what? We're not going to paint our bottom first. No, no, no. Especially if we're painting on an easel. Because you guys are going to get a sticky bottom. And let me tell you what. Especially in the summertime. Nobody likes a sticky bottom. Okay? <laughs> Gosh, I love this color. Oh, it's so pretty. All right. Now, when you guys are all finished, okay, we're going to give Rocky, that little beautiful squirrel, we're going to see, look at that. I said beautiful. I'm embracing them. Right? Huh? Yeah. Okay. We're going to give him a bath. And then what you guys are going to do is you're going to grab that easel. Right? For me, I didn't even leave a thumb hole. And I'm going to give it the hair dryer. out there watching me paint. Hello, Karen Thibodeau from Rhode Island. How you do, sweet sister? Miss Karen came all the way up to Maine, and I got to meet her this weekend, which was awesome. Now I feel like I need to go to Rhode Island and have a potty potty. <laughs> How you doing, Karen? Hello, Sharon Viola Morton. How's Mr. Henry doing? Yeah, he good boy, isn't he? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, once you guys get this whole background painted and you have uh, dried it off, 
okay? Now we are ready to start our loopings. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. Looping time, looping time, okay? Now, what I use to do my loopings, okay, is I use a method, right? And the only thing that I could think of when I was in the shower before this was, do you remember that song, The Electric Slide? You can't feel it. It's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Right? You remember that one? Okay. So what this is, is this is kind of like a woodpecker slide. Woodpecker slide. Think about the woodpecker. Okay? Yay, pate. <laughs> What's the woodpecker do? It packs. And then you're going to slide. Slide. Okay? And that's the motion that we're going to use to do the entire loopings. Okay? So, first thing that I am going to do is, actually I fid to you. Gosh, I did this a long time ago. Okay. So, first thing that I'm going to do is, I am going to start off by doing my grass. Alright? I thought I was going to do the other thing, but I'm not. No. Goodness gracious. Okay, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to take your medium brush. We are, hello, Debbie Bryant Chapman. How you do? Hello, Susie Q. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our medium brush, and you guys are going to mix in that darkest green. Remember I told you that commercial green? What I'm going to have you do is take a little bit of that green, and we are going to mix it with some white. Okay, and the reason why we're using this green is because we want to make sure that it's different than the green that we use in our background, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it, because we're going to grow some grass, okay? So what I've done is I've taken my white and my commercial green, and I've mixed them together, and ooh, look at that color. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so it's just kind of like a minty green. It's not the color we use for our background, just like a minty green. Why, thank you, Katie. How you do, girl? <laughs> I love my Katie, Katie. Okay, now what I'm going to have you guys do next is you're going to wipe off that medium brush. Let's call it Bullwinkle. Why? Because he was friends with squirrels, like I am. Now, yes, all right, Mr. Bullwinkle, okay? So now I have my medium brush. I've squeezed it out so it's nice and flat. And how we're going to grow this grass, you guys are going to start at the bottom. You're going to go, boop, boop, right? Using your brush like this. You ready for this action? Yes, you are. Okay, I'm taking that green and white. You ready for this? Ooh, boo Yes, just a subtle difference, but you can see it in the background. Because what we're going to do with this grass is we are going to work our way forward. Look at that. Ooh, boo And when you're doing the poo what you're doing is, hello from the Philippines. How are you, Elizabeth Siba? Nice to meet you, darling. You're taking that brush nice and flat, just like this, okay? You're going to go whoop and pull back. And that's how you're going to get that beautiful stalk on there. Look at that. Ah! Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Don't think about it. Ooh. Just grow some grass, okay? And we're gonna put that first layer of grass right in the background. Ba! Look at that. That's right. And we're not even gonna criticize ourselves. We're just not thinking. We're having fun. We're giving it the whipper snapper. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm funny. Okay, <laughs> ready? Okay, and all you're doing in that background is you're growing the first layer of grass. Look, whoo! Look at that. 
Look at that. Boom! Right? Am I thinking? Heck no. Am I criticizing myself? No way. I'm just growing grass. Right? We can walk in it. We can grow it with our brush. Blah. If it's easier for you guys to use your uh, little brush, then use your little brush, okay? Hi, Tennille Berkeley. Well, thank you. How you doing, pumpkin? <laughs> okay, ready? There we go. And then I'm just going to come on, keep it on, keep up with this. And boom, look at that. This is my last piece of grass. Well, maybe not. I feel like a little boy. Blah. Ooh. Okay, look at that. Ooh. And don't forget to crisscross applesauce. Because in the real world, what happens is that grass uh, crosses itself, right? Because the wind's blowing. Just like your hair in the air, so the cross of the grass starts dancing, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now you're going to wash off your little rocky brush. Give it a bath because he's dirty because he's been playing with squirrels. <laughs> okay. You're going to squeeze it out again. And what we're going to do is we are going to bring in our next layer of grass. Now this layer of grass is going to be straight up green. Okay, straight up green. So we are not using the green and white. We're using the green. Hello, Trisha Cobb. How you doing, baby? Okay, so here we go. You ready for this? Boom. Oh, look at that little long soldier. I don't know if I meant for that to happen, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. And as we get closer, I'm going to squeeze my brush a little bit so I can make them a little thicker. I don't want thicker than the thinnies. <laughs> okay, so the next layer I'm putting in here is the straight up green grass. Look at that. Boom! Right? And you always want to make sure that your grass goes to the bottom of your canvas. Why? Because otherwise it looks weird. You got floating grass. Right? Nobody wants some floating grass, do they? No, sir. And we are just going to put a thin layer of this grass right in front of that little light grass. Look at that. Say hello to my new grass. Look at that. Woo. Ah. Right? Oh. There we go. Boop. And not too much grass. We don't want to make a grass, grass horrific. You know what I'm saying? No, sir. Okay, we don't want to make it too grassy. Grace, we'd be up in the meadow all night long trying to get the ticks off us. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but when I was a little kid, I never had ticks up here in Maine. But now, Jesus and Crow, it's like a pandemic. All right, look at that. See that? See how that grass is starting to jump out and bite you? Ooh, look at that. I'm getting grassy. I'm getting grassy, baby. Okay. And there. Just about that much. Okay. And there you go. I know it. I know it. Look at that. Oh, look. oh it's so easy. Why, yes. Yes, it is. It's 50 shades of green tonight. Huh? <laughs> 50 shades. <laughs> All right. So, now we have our beautiful background, we've got our light grass, and we have our dark grass. Now, what I am going to have you guys do, low, now, now we're going to cut into the mustard, alright? Now it's coming back to me how I actually painted this painting. So, what you guys are going to do next, I wish I remember, oh, well, you don't have a kid, that's alright, Trisha, don't you worry, girl. Because the beautiful part is, even if you don't have a canvas now, as soon as I'm done, whoop, look at that. Jeez, I'm curl up. <laughs> as soon as I'm done, I'm going to put it on my Facebook page. And then in a couple days, it'll be on my YouTube channel forever and ever. Okay? So don't you worry, pumpkin pie. 
Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the first layer of our lupins, okay? And how we're gonna do that. Now, for me, this is super important. When I'm doing a lupin, or any kind of, well, no, just a lupin, what I want is I want a nice, soft tip, right? I want a tip that I can, okay? All right, so, Watch this, because we're about to do the electric slide. All right, you ready for this? Here we go. Okay. So, I load up my brush with that full-on purple. Okay, here we go. Full-on purple. Right, and I'm going to go, whoop, just like that. Okay, whoop. See that? Just like it's raining men. What? Whoop. <laughs> And I don't want you guys to overthink this, okay? Don't try to be perfect with your lupins. Because if you try to be perfect, it's not going to come out right, all right? So here we go. Watch. I'm not thinking. Boop, boop, boop. And it's a tap and a pull, okay? Tap and a pull. Tap and a pull. Tap and a pull. All right? Now, if you're not careful, your lupins can look like duties. You don't want your lupins to look like a duty, do you? No, Mr. Hanky tonight. Okay? So what you're going to do, whoop, pull, whoop, pull, whoop, pull, whoop, pull. All right? Rip and pull, babies. Okay? Look at that. And am I thinking about it? No, I'm not thinking about it. Doop, 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 doop. And I'm just giving it the idea of the shape of that lupin, okay? And in order for it not to look like a duty, all right, you've kind of got to thin it out a little bit on the bottom. Well, actually, that kind of does look like a duty, but it won't, okay? And see that? Give it a little nugget on top. And all I'm doing is I'm putting the background of that beautiful purple, and I'm creating a shape of my first lupin. Look at that. Look at nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Now, if you at home are trying to make a perfect lupin and you're thinking too much and you're like, oh, 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 don't do it. Allow yourself to create. Nature's beautiful. It's perfectly imperfect, just like us, okay? Just get in there, make a couple of those backdrop snops, right? And just basically carve out this shape of a lupin and yes you do want to have some green in there okay so there's my first lupin all right now i'm going to come next to him and i'm going to put another lupin am i going to keep them all even no why because you'll have a row of corn you don't want that okay so this one i'm going to start up here look at this whoop boop Whoop! See, I'm tapping and pulling. Tapping and pulling. Not making a pattern. Don't you dare put three in each row just cause. I know you went home. I know what you're thinking. All right? Look at that. I'm just tapping and pulling. And I'm bringing in the shape of my lupin. Okay? Look. Doop, 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 doop. You can even make those noises. It'll come out better. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Now there's my second lupin. Okay, he's not going to the top. Why? Because I don't want him to. But all I'm doing is I'm tapping and pulling. Okay? What? Nicole, looks different than your first one. That's right, I did that on purpose. <laughs> well, thank you, Mike. I'm glad you like the picture, honey. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to start in on the third lupin. This guy's going to start down here. Why? Because I don't want to roll a corn. Okay? So here we go. Ready? Whoop, whoop. Doop, doop, doop. Am I going outside the lines? Yes, yes I am. Okay? Look. But the one thing you don't want to do... Each lupin has to be a distinct lupin, okay? Hi, Katie Von Cobb. How you doing, baby? Because what you guys want to make sure of is you want to make sure that those lupins don't get connected together, 
okay? So you got to give each loop in its own little world. All right, so here we go. I'm just coming in, putting in that background. I'm tapping and pulling, tap, pull, tap, pull. No duties on my loopings. Tap, pull, tap, pull. Okay, I'm leaving a little bit of space in the background, not much, all right? Okay, look at that. Whoop, 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 whoop. See that? Ooh, what color did I paint the background? Well, Katie Von Calm, the background color is a combination of three different colors. It's yellow, white, and a little bit of, uh, well, I call it horny green, or um, it's basically a yellowish green color, okay? So it's basically like, here, let me show you Katie Von Calm. All right, so it's this green and a little, I mix my yellow and white and I make it a little bit of buttercream yellow. Mix the three of those colors together and you have your background color. Look at that. Woo, you're welcome, Miss Katie. Okay, look at that guy. He's long. He's long and strong. Look at my little middle looping. Okay, now... What I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to create another one. Where do I want this guy? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I'll start him right here. Okay, look at that. Right there. So they're not even. Oh, yeah. And make sure, as I said, that when you do that, you give it a little bit of a point on the bottom. Okay? Don't just leave a big, a big um, I'm not going to say that because there's probably children watching. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, and all I'm doing is I'm climbing up the ladder with my touch and pulls. Look at that. Ooh, climbing up with my touch and pulls. Look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, what? Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. See that? Looks like he's a little top heavy, so I'll have to come in here and hit a few of these spots. Look. Ah, there. Look at that. Okay. So there's my fourth loop in. All right. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Yes, it is. All right. Now, the last one, I'm going to give this guy a little bit of a crook. Why? Cause. Okay. Because my smile's crooked. Why not have a crooked looping? All right, so here we go. We're going to start this guy over here. Give him a little crook. Give him a little personality. Okay, look at him. Ooh, he's nice. All right, I like a little crooked. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay. And we'll bring him up around town just like this. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He got a little crook. Nothing wrong with a little crook. Huh? Sometimes it's a good thing. Okay, and see how I'm tapering off the top of those loopings? See that? We're giving him a little taper on top. Okay? Yeah, babies. All right, my darlings. And once you guys have that first layer of your loopings on, you have successfully made it to halftime. Okay? Now, during halftime, don't go crazy and try to make those loopings perfect because I see you. <laughs> okay, you guys can make your bladder grutter. Grab a Scooby snack, stretch your bones, stand up. Oh, go grab another glass of wine. And I will see you beautifuls in about four minutes, okay? 7.39. Going to be an early paint tonight, everybody. I'll see you in four minutes, okay?
I tell you what. Okay. So, now you guys are, hello, Susan Munchon, Mun, Munchon, Munchon Walters from Anderson, South Carolina. Ooh, must be really hot down there. Hello, Nelda Sanders. How are you doing, honey? Um, so, halftime, you guys get my halftime speech, okay? And what I want to tell you is I absolutely love Ah, when you guys send me your pictures. That brings me joy. Because I can't see ya, so I love to see your artwork. So, how you do that, you can either message me, and if you haven't liked Artful Nights Main on Facebook, please do. That way, you guys can send me your pictures, you can see whenever we do these shows, and you can message me your pictures, right? So I can post them. Or what I did for you guys was I created a Facebook group and I changed the name of the group to Art Full Nights Main Online Painting Group, I think. I think, I don't know. You know me. But anyways, um, yeah. So if you search that group on Facebook, you can post your pictures there and you guys can, um, uh, yeah, you guys can share them with each other. I go on, I see everybody's post. I absolutely love it. And also, too, sometimes I can't see your post because I'm doing it from my phone. So, write me something cool because I read through all of them afterward. All right? <laughs> and the other thing is, um, yeah, what do I have coming up? Okay, so in two weeks, because during this summer, I started doing the free lives every other week. So, our next Facebook Live is two Sundays from now. And what we are going to be doing is, oh, look at those dancing hummingbirds, baby. Yeah. Those hummingbirds are twitterpated. <laughs> so, in two weeks, we're going to be doing the dancing hummingbirds. And I also started doing paid Facebook Lives for my events that I'm doing in the real world because you guys are like loving seeing what I'm doing in the real world. Um, because I, I do a lot of live shows, like I teach in person up here in Maine. So that's one of them. We're doing the, uh, oh, what's that guy called? The Puffin? Gosh, I'm having brain food feast. Ooh, okay. And I think in another week, I am teaching this one as a Facebook Live, okay? We're doing the Lost the Buoys. Now, the paid Facebook Lives, they're the actual events that I'm doing um, in person, and they are a little bit more intense. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> they're a little bit more intense than the free Facebook Lives, okay? So they take about three hours, a little bit more detail, but let me tell you what, oh, they're pretty, wicked pretty. Okay, so this is our next paid Facebook Live. I have no idea what it is. But if you guys go on to my Facebook page, then you guys can uh, hit the events button and see when all these guys are happening. Okay? All right. That's right. Thank goodness. Because then I don't have to think. And I have a bunch of people saying, every time I post a, uh, an in-person event, they're like, oh, geez, look at this. I did my hair just for you guys tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, every time I post a uh, in-person event, folks are like, oh, I love it. Are you going to do it live? So, yes. When I get two seconds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, posting those um, live events, more live events from the ones that I'm doing on my Facebook page. Okay? So, stay tuned, everybody. Make sure you like Artful Nights Main on Facebook. I don't have a website because I'm not that cool. Okay? And I hate technology. All right. So, here we go. You ready? Yes, you're ready. What? Oh, my goodness. They look like footprints. Okay. So, the next thing that we are going to do, very similar process to what we've already done. Okay, you guys are going to take your little Rocky Raccoon and you're going to dry them off so you don't get the dripsies. And what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you grab a big old scoop of white. Look at that. 
okay? And you are gonna mix that in with your purple, okay? So what we're doing is we are toning down that purple so that it is one shade lighter than what it was before. See that? All right, so that it's one shade lighter than it was before. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Okay, and you guys, if you, cur you couldn't get through all of this or whatever, don't worry about it. Immediately, I post it on my Facebook page after the show, and then it goes on my YouTube channel, which is Artful Nights Main. All right, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe for your life. <laughs> All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, purple that is one shade lighter, and I'm going to come in on these beautiful lupins. And what I'm aiming for with the second layer is I'm aiming for some of the in-betweenies. Okay? What's the in-betweeny, Nicole? Well, the in-betweeny are these little holes right here. So I'm taking this lighter purple and I'm doing the same thing, okay? And I'm aiming for some of the in-betweenies, not all, okay? Look at that, boom, see that? That's it, that's all I'm gonna do with that second shade, okay? Hit some of those in-betweenies, not all of them. Don't go in between the crazy. Okay, <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same thing with each one of these lupins. I'm going to come up, I'm going to hit some of the in-betweenies, just some of them, not all. Okay, watch that. All right, watch. Doop, 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 just like a video game. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, look at that. Not all of them. Just some of them, okay? And I'm gonna continue to do this on each one of these lupins. If your purple underneath is still wet, that's a good thing. Because you kinda of want these colors to blend just a little bit, all right? Just a little, not much. What am I doing? I'm climbing the mountain, hitting some of those in-betweenies. But you definitely want to make sure that when you're hitting those in-betweenies that you can still see that layer of dark purple underneath. Okay? Can you guys see that? Beautiful. All right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now we're going to hit number four. Doop, doop, doop. Climb that mountain of lupin. Hitting some of those in betweenies, not all of them. Okay, it's Lupin Mountain. Yes, we are climbing the mountain of Lupin, not the Dookie. Okay, <laughs> see that? Beautiful, you guys. I'm telling you what, you're gonna be Lupin experts by the end of this. Okay. Now, here we go. I'm going to hit this one. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Climb this mountain. That's right. See that? And there we go. That's it. Just like that. So, I've added layer number two. All I did was made my purple one shade lighter. Okay. Now, now that I've hit those in-betweenies the first time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that medium brush again. I'm going to grab another huge scoop of white, all right? And I'm going to mix it in with the lighter shade of purple, and I am going to bring it down another shade. What? Yep, another shade, okay? Look at that. So now, look, I've got my dark purple, my medium purple, and now I got my light purple. Okay? And what we're going to do next is we're going to come in here. Okay, look at this. 
and I'm gonna do the same process, okay? I'm looking for those in-betweenies, right? Right, just like this. Look at that, choop, choop, choop. And every time I hit those in-betweenies, I'm gonna make sure that I can still see all three shades of that purple, okay? That's how we get these suckers with some depth and dimension is we come in, but we also make sure that we can see all three layers, okay? That's important. All right, look at that. Ooh, baby! She coming together. Yes, she is. Okay, here we go, same thing. I'm hitting those in-betweenies, all right? Bringing it in, but I'm still able to see all those different shades of purple. Look at that. There we go. Climbing up that big old loop on the dock. See that? Yeah, baby. All right. And now we're going for number four. Number four, and there is one more, right? You, 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 you. All I'm doing is just tap, tap, tapping. Look. Hitting my in-betweenies, that's all. See that? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, they're starting to look like loopings, aren't they? All right, I know it, I'm excited. Okay, gonna go into the last one. Bring it up. Okay, hit those in betweenies. Whoop, doop, doop, doop. Not too much, just a little bit, so I can see all those layers. Okay, can you guys see that? Oh, those loopings are looking good, aren't they? Yes, they are. I tell you what. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go cuckoo crazy, all right? You guys are going to grab another scoop of white, another big scoop of white. And we are going to tone down the lightest purple. We are going to make it one shade lighter. What? Yes, we are. I know. I know you can't even, you, I know you're getting excited. Okay. <laughs> so look at that. Now we've got one, two, three, four. And look at my green. Wants to jump right in there. We're not going to let it, though. No, Sha. Don't you to even think about getting into my purple green. Okay? So now I've got that last shade, right? And you can tone down this 27 times if you want to. Okay? I'm going to do it four times. And it's going to make this beautiful difference. But the more different shades you bring in, the more depth and dimension, okay? So here we go. Look at this. Here we go. Here comes number three. Yep. And this one, I am just barely hitting those in-betweenies. Look, just giving it a little of that, okay? I want to make sure that I don't cover up any of those layers, all right? So aim for those little green holes that you might still have left with that shade. Okay, you ready for this? Zoop, 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 zoop. All right, tiny little ones, right? Before we were going a little bit bigger with our things, but now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make them a tiny bit smaller. Look at that. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, baby. Oh, Mr. Smart. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right, here we go. Ready? Look at that. And all I'm aiming for is those little green fukus that are, I, fuku, I think that's a technical term. Okay? Those little green spots that are still available. Right up in there. See that? Ooh. All right. And now number five. Number five is a love step on it. Okay? 
There we go. Joop, 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 joop. Get right in there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, oh my soul. Right? Wow, those lupins are looking good. Okay, now if you have a lupin like my first one, Look at my first lupin. To me, that looks like a dookie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top of this lupin. I'm just going to shape it up a little. Because we'll have no dookie lupins on my watch. Okay? <laughs> no, sir. And because I have all of those little shades of purple, I can come in here and do the same thing. Just add a few more shades in there to the tip. Look at that. Oh, no more dookie looping now. No, sir. All right. Come down here. You want to make sure that we give them a little bit of a taper at the bottom. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Shape those bad boys up. Get them ready for a stem. All right. Look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step on these lupins. What? You thought we were done? No, sir. They are everywhere in Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Roadside in June. They're beautiful. Oh, Judy Ward. I cannot wait till I can come to Canada again. I'm going to come visit you guys. You guys got to set up a show up in Canada. All right? <laughs> Get all my party people together. I would love that. Someday soon. I know it's going to happen. Um, they're going to let us back in. <laughs> okay. So, the last thing that you want to do with these lupins, okay? What I want you to kind of think about is everything the light touches, okay? Do you remember that movie from uh, The Lion King, right? We talked about that earlier this week. I was teaching a bunch of kids, okay? So, what I'm going to have you do is you, yes, I would love to, Heather, you tell me where to come and when, sweetie, and I will be there as soon as I can. Um, we're going to take a little bit of white on the end of this brush, okay? And what I'm going to have you do is bring that white just on the tip of some of those lupins. See what I'm doing? I'm bringing that white and I'm just pecking it in just a little bit. So everything the light touches, okay? What this does is it just gives it another layer of depth and dimension. Look at that. Okay, I'm coming in not to, I'm like, mine are a little perfect. I'm not going to have them so perfect. All right, so ready? Watch this. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. tap. Just bring it in a little white just to give it that last layer of depth and dimension. Okay, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Oh, bees are looking for those lupins. The bees like lupins? I don't know. Maybe they do. Okay, see? And I'm just bringing in a little white, just tapping it in, especially if you guys have any, um, any little green spots, right, of that background color coming through. See? Ooh, can you see what that does? So this one does not have the white, this one does. Can you see what it does? So what it's doing is it's picking out that last layer of uh, sunlight on the little ends of the looping things, okay? <laughs> so I'm just coming in in random places, tapping in a little white up in here. See that? Bringing her up. There we go. There we go. Look. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Nice, huh? I know it is. Okay. There's that. We're tapping her in. Just giving her one more layer of sunshine. Because everybody needs a little bit more sunshine, don't we? Yes, sir. Okay. See that? Beautiful, you guys. Oh, you little looping penis. That's what you are. Okay, here we go. Tapping in a little white here. I think I went with a little of that light purple instead of white there. Whoops, wrong color. <laughs> okay, 
There we go. Don't make any patterns with this, okay? So this is one of those things where you don't think. All right? You just let your hand pack like a woodpecker. I don't think a woodpecker thinks every time he pecks for a bug in a tree. Well, maybe he does, but I doubt it. Okay? There we go. Look at that. Ooh! Do, 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 do. And there. Once you get that white in, you've got that last layer of color, guess what? Your lupins are done, okay? Now, what you might need to do is, yeah, I hear you, Katie. What you guys might need to do is, if you um, went a little too crazy with your lighter colors and the lupins, all right? What you can always do, there's nothing wrong with this, all right? You can grab some of that original dark purple, okay? And just bring a little bit back, all right? Okay, so see what I'm doing? I'm grabbing some of that original dark purple, see this? And I'm just bringing it back, just in a few spots. Just so that I have all those different layers of depth and dimension. See that? Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a little reverse painting. Okay, look at that. So I'm just in random spots like I was doing with the white. I'm coming in and I'm tip-top tapping some of that original dark purple. Okay. Oh, gosh, those look pretty. I'm telling you what, they look pretty enough to pick. <laughs> All right, look at that. Yes, yeah. And this is the deal. If you love how your lupins came out, you're done. But if you're feeling like, hmm, my lupin looks like a dookie, then you shape it. Or if you're feeling like you lost some of that original color or you want to put more colors in, you repeat the process until you get these babies looking exactly the way you want them, okay? you got to make your art world happy, all right? There's no right or wrong. It's only about what makes your heart happy. So you get right in there, right, if you need to, and you bring some more colors back. Look at that. Boom! Oh, I love it! I love my lupins! Yeah! Look at that! Oh, I feel like tiptoeing through the tulips. Okay? And there you go! Alright! Now, once our lupins are done, the next thing that I'm going to have you guys do, I'm going to have you wash off Rocky Raccoon. Let's wash them off again. Alright? And you are going to take that original, not the, um, not the horny green, but you are going to take the regular green, that regular commercial green, all right? And what you're going to do is you are going to add a tiny, tiny bit of black to it. Now, black is naughty. It loves to travel. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to add just a little bit to make it one shade darker. All right. Here we go. See that? So I've got my regular green and now I have my darker green, which is one shade darker. I like to call this one the caca green or the army green. That's what it looks like. Looks like an army green. Because G.I. Joe is turning green. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Now, what we're going to do next is you guys are going to, whenever you, well, not always, but most of the time, I would say probably 85% of the time when you do flowers, you always bring... You do the flower first, and then you bring the stem to the flower, not the other way around. Because if you do your stems first, it restricts where you can put your flowers. We don't want that, okay? Hey, girl, how you doing, Miss Kelly? So now I've got that caca green. 
on my brush, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it, boom, to make my lupin stems. See that? All right? And I'm bringing those stems. Look at this. Boom. Right? Look. Oh, there she goes. That's those lupin stems, right? Oh, I'll aim that one that way. How's that look? Okay. All right. No, here we go again. Ooh, look at that. Here's another one. Okay. And then we're going to do my last stem. Ooh, look at that. So there's that darker green that I'm using for the stem. But if I only used it for the stems, it would look weird, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, whoop, and add in a few little blades of that green, that darker green grass, okay? Just so I can blend it in a little bit. Watch this. Boom. Okay? Boom. That's right. Wah. All right? And there we go. There's our bottom grass, you guys. We got our grass done. We got our lupins done. Now, what we're going to do next is I'm going to have you guys wash off your Rockies. Okay? Wash them off. Because what we're going to do is we're going to bring some of that green up at the top. All right? So if you have any of that original white that you made you are going to use it but if you don't you probably don't I know mine's dried up right so I'm gonna make some more of that original green and the original green that we used for the first layer of grass was just a combination of that regular commercial green not the horny green the regular commercial green and a little bit of white remember this one this guy right here Okay, and we wanted it different so that it didn't blend into the background. So, we're going to take our little Rocky, grab some of that green, and look at what we are going to do. We're going to bring it up through the top here. Okay, so watch this. Pretend like it's this grass in continuation. See that? Oh, yes. Am I thinking? Nope. Look at that. Just bringing it in. All right, bringing in some more of that color. All right, just like this. Bringing it through the top. Do not put the grass in front of your lupins because your lupins are the star of this painting. Okay, look, ooh, look at that. All right, bringing them in the air like we just don't care. Ooh, look at that, okay. That's what I have so far. All right, I'm gonna bring some more in, bring a little crisscross in. Woo, look at this. Not too much. I'm not gonna overpower my lupins. You know what I'm saying? Because my lupins are the star of the show. All right, so there's that first layer up there, okay? And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a second layer of grass on the top, just a little bit. But this time, I'm going to be using this color right here. That's the regular commercial, straight up commercial green, okay? So I'm going to come in here, grab my little Rocky brush, and watch this. Just follow that same pattern, all right? Just a couple of these guys. Woo! Look at that. This one's going right off the canvas. Why? Because that's how I wanted it to go. See that? Yeah. All right. Come in here. Yeah. See, just a little bit. Not too much. We want the idea of this little grass sprouting out of... Sprouting out of Montana. <laughs> Yeah, ooh, look at that. Okay, and once you have that grass done, okay, we want to make sure that there's none of these little naked spots on the in-betweenies of our lupins, because that would look funny too. So, you know, just get in there. 
Give it a little something. All right, bring that grass in. And guess what, you guys? Once you get that grass in, your masterpiece is complete. What up? Okay? You guys, grab your little itty-bitty Titmos brush. Add your famous artist signature to the lower left, the right-hand corner. Same artist signature you're going to use for the rest of your life, so make sure it's a good one. That's how they're going to be able to identify your work. Here we go. Look at that. Oh! Okay. And there you go. I hope you guys had a fabulous time. And uh, make sure you send me those pictures. Like Artful Nights Maine on Facebook. If you miss me tonight and you can't get to it till a later date, uh, make sure you go on the YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in not next Sunday, but the Sunday after for the Happy Dancing Hummingbirds, the Twitter Painted Hummingbirds. Okay?